right here, Miami Mike Sports Zone, with Miami Mike, RIC, the place to be, hanging out at the 72 Club here at the Sports Zone, East Hanover, New Jersey, where we watch all the Monday Night Football action, and somebody made an interview on the schedule this week, Mike, you got the Houston Texans, 3-5, coming off that bye week, trying to get over that whole quarterback blow up uh, situation that happened this year. Yeah. And uh, they trouble there. Oh, a lot of trouble. Bill O'Brien talked about the hot seat. Hot. It's really hot under his uh, behind. But the Cincinnati Bengals, one of those three undefeated teams here at the 72 Club, we don't like that. No, we don't. But, uh, but know, and, and a, a very good seven, a very oh, good man, undefeated very team. Very impressive. I mean, they're pulling out all the tricks, all the gadget plays. They're running Muhammad Sanu on the yeah, verses. They're doing everything. That was his first rushing touchdown since Rutgers. Wow, since amazing. Since he stays at Rutgers. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, they're pulling out all the stops uh, in Cincinnati. Creativity. They're being creative. They are. Keep the defense off guard. What, they that's have, what you need uh, to do. That's why they're undefeated. Top caliber talent at every position. I mean, this team is uh, about as stacked as yeah. any roster in the league. And, uh, and they have a quarterback that's played outstanding. He's an outstanding regular season quarterback. Yes, he is. Outstanding regular season quarterback. Yes, uh, he is. <laughs> you know, uh, hey, the Texans will take any kind of quarterback. Uh, I, I have a feeling the uh, Bengals are going to bully. You know, Houston's coming off the bye, but Cincinnati had 10 days to rest up yep. for this game. After, just, after beating the Browns. After, you know, banging up uh, Johnny Manziel on Thursday night. Yep. Come back around 10 weeks to rest up for the Texans. I think I know how this one's going to shake down. I think so too. But tell me, you know, Texans getting caught in the back alley over here. Yeah, Texans are one of those teams that they had a, a big Super Bowl aspirations going into the season. Yeah. Uh, now going forward, they're one of those teams that you would think are going to battle for a wild card with the four or five losses. I don't see it happening. The, the Texans are going down. Their stock is going down. Bengals and Scott is going up. And I think it's a it's Bengals in the blowout. I agree. The Bengals only, in the blowout. Only true question here is: Does Bill O'Brien survive the season? Uh, does he make it out of line? I don't think so. No. I don't think he makes it. Maybe week twelve he's out of there. Wow. Okay. I think so. I so think he's going to can before the season ends. You heard it here first. Before Maybe Miami go back to Miami. Penn State. RIC in the place to be. Don't forget the stadium sign Sunday, Mike. Hit him with the details. This Sunday, baby, bring your stadium sign 1 to 5 p.m. You have a chance to win one of three Miami Mike gift cards for $50. Stadium sign Sunday, this Sunday. Fat heads, welcome. Hey, now. Come on down. Check us out. Giving out $150 worth of giveaways. Hey, it goes a long way here at the 72 Club. So come on down for all the NFL Week 10 action. It's been another edition of Global Football here at the 72 Club. Or my in mind, too. RIC in the place to be. Hey, Mike, I got an idea. Why don't we come back to it again next week? Hey, why not? Hey, hey, hey why not? We got hey, a good idea over here. We'll see you next week, everybody.